Adversaries around the globe are becoming more sophisticated to protect soldiers, citizens, and infrastructure, the most advanced tactical missile capabilities are required. For months, Russian rockets with ranges of 200 to 300 miles have been killing Ukrainian civilians. To add to that, many of them are unguided munitions, which means that the attacks often strike non-military targets such as apartment blocks and neighborhoods. Now, however, with the aid of the HIMARS sent from America, it has allowed Ukrainian forces to target Russian missile launchers, fire bases, troop concentrations, command and control nodes, and have an immediate tactical impact. In this video, we are going to take a closer look at HIMARS and find out exactly how powerful it is. Before we get started, if you do enjoy this video and would like to see more just like it, remember to give us a like and subscribe to our channel to get more sent straight to your notifications. The M142 High Mobility Artillery Rocket System, better known as HIMARS, is a light multiple rocket launcher developed in the late 1990s for the United States Army by the American defense giant Lockheed Martin Missiles and Fire Control. This is a full-spectrum, combat-proven, all-weather, 24-7, lethal and responsive, wheeled, precision strike weapon system. Offering multiple launch rocket system firepower, on a wheeled chassis, the High Mobility Artillery Rocket System is the newest member of the Multiple Launch Rocket System launcher family. HIMARS carries a single six-pack of rockets or one suite of Army Tactical Missile Systems on the Army's family of medium tactical vehicles 5-ton truck and can launch the entire Multiple Launch Rocket System family of munitions, which was successfully combat tested in Operation Iraqi Freedom. The intention of HIMARS is to engage and defeat artillery, air defense concentrations, trucks, light armor, and personnel carriers, as well as support troop and supply concentrations. The very clever thing about HIMARS is that it can launch its weapons and move away from the area at high speed before enemy forces locate the launch site. One reason for this is because it is a wheeled chassis and not tracked but also because it is lighter in weight compared to the M270 multiple launch rocket system launcher. It weighs approximately 15 tons compared to the 27 tons for the M270. The HIMARS launchers have a lot of things in common with its older and heavier tracked cousins, the M270 and M270A1 launcher systems. The HIMARS design concept includes the familiar launcher module, fire control, digital command and control systems, and a self-reload capability. The HIMARS uses the same command, control, and communications, as well as the same crew as the multiple launch rocket system, but carries only one rocket or missile pod. It can roll on and off of a C-130 transport aircraft and, when carried with a combat load, is ready to operate within 15 minutes of landing. Because of the lighter weight of using one pod rather than two, it has a faster time compared to the M270 from the point the fire mission is received to the actual munition firing. A HIMARS section consists of a launcher, two resupply vehicles, and two resupply trailers. The resupply vehicle is a medium tactical vehicle truck with an onboard HIAP crane and secure radio communications. The resupply trailer is a standard M1095 5-ton trailer. Both the resupply vehicle and resupply trailer can carry two rocket or missile launcher pods. It also incorporates the self-loading, autonomous features that have made the multiple launch rocket system the premier rocket artillery system in the world. The fire control system, electronics, and communications unit are interchangeable with the existing M270A1 launcher, and the crew and training are the same. The rocket system is equipped with a fire control system, which includes video, keyboard control, a gigabyte of program storage, and a global positioning system. The fire control computer allows firing missions to be carried out in automatic or manual mode. The HIMARS launcher consists of a carrier and a fire control system that computes all fire mission data and a launcher loader module portion that performs all operations necessary to complete a fire mission. The launcher system is composed of two lines of three tube launchers. This incredible rocket system can fire the standard multiple launch rocket system round, but also the entire multiple launch rocket system family of munitions including the extended range rocket, the reduced range practice rocket, and all future variants. It can also fire the extended range guided rocket, GMLRS, 
with a range of more than 70 kilometers. The HIMARS is also capable of firing the Army Tactical Missile System with a maximum range of 300 kilometers. In October 2017, a Marine Corps M142 fired a rocket while at sea against a land target for the first time from the deck of the amphibious transport dock USS Anchorage, demonstrating the system's ability to operate while on ships to deliver precision fire from a standoff range against shore defenses. The vehicle's targeting software was reworked so it can better fire while on a constantly moving and maneuvering launch platform. The Army Tactical Missile System family includes the Block 1, Block 1A, and Block 1A unitary missiles. The Block 1 missile delivers 950 anti-personnel, anti-material baseball-sized M74 submunitions to ranges exceeding 165 kilometers. The Block 1A missile range exceeds 300 kilometers by reducing the submunition payload to 300 bomblets and adding GPS guidance. The missile, with a single burst warhead, was first deployed in support of Operation Iraqi Freedom in March and April of 2003. The high-mobility artillery rocket system is operated by a crew of three, the driver, gunner, and section chief. However, the computer-based fire control system enables a crew of two or a single soldier to load and unload the system. The front of the M142 HIMARS is fitted with a fully enclosed and armored cab which provides protection against small arms firing and artillery shell splinters. The launcher unit is equipped with an onboard land navigation system. This allows the crew to remain within the safety of the armored cabin while accurately monitoring their position. The family of medium tactical vehicles, standard cargo truck, is motorized with a Caterpillar C7 engine coupled to an automatic Allison 3700 SP transmission with seven speeds. It can do a top speed of 85 kilometers an hour on the road and measures slightly over 5 meters long, 2 meters wide, and 2 and a quarter meters high. The M142 HIMARS costs around $5 million per unit to produce, and more than 540 have been used in the field, according to Lockheed Martin. The US, Romania, Singapore, United Arab Emirates, Jordan, and now Ukraine are the only countries to currently possess HIMARS. Sales have been approved to Poland and Taiwan, and in July 2022, Estonia confirmed it would purchase up to six systems from the US as part of a $500 million package. HIMARS have been deployed previously in Afghanistan, where the US used them against the Taliban in Kandahar province and against so-called Islamic State forces in Iraq during the Battle of Mosul. In the early days of Russia's invasion of Ukraine, foreign-supplied anti-tank weapons like the Enlaw and Javelin, proved crucial in defending the advance of Russian armored columns towards cities such as Kyiv and Kharkiv. In recent months, Russia has been trudging slowly through eastern Ukraine, capturing the remaining Ukrainian-held cities in Luhansk and much of Donbas under a hail of heavy artillery fire. Ukraine is outgunned when it comes to conventional artillery, which has a maximum range of around 40 kilometers. But the HIMARS have proven crucial in upping Ukraine's military strength, effective at striking key command, communications, and logistics centers well behind enemy lines, all while remaining safely out of range of Russian shelling. Their impact has clearly been felt by Russia, which does not appear to have an easy way to defend its troops and infrastructure from these precision missiles. Ukraine has used HIMARS to interrupt Russia's supply of artillery to its front, where Russian forces are using an estimated 20,000 shells per day, according to a report by the Royal United Services Institute. In early July 2020, videos posted to social media showed what appeared to be ammunition dumps in flames, including a truck center in Donetsk belonging to the Russian vehicle manufacturer Kamaz. The structures were likely struck by HIMARS, the Russian S-400 air defense missile system has apparently been unable to intercept these missiles, and it remains unclear whether Russian intelligence has managed to successfully locate and attack them. According to the Russian Defense Ministry, it had destroyed four HIMARS. However, the chairman of the U.S. Joint Chiefs of Staff said in a press conference that none of the systems have so far been destroyed. He also said that around 200 Ukrainian troops have been trained to use HIMARS. Whatever happens to the Russian attack on Ukraine, it is definitely the case that the American HIMARS have been a great asset to the Ukrainian military. What do you think of this powerful American rocket system? Let us know in the comments below. 
If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to give us a like and subscribe to our channel to get our latest videos straight to your notifications. Thanks for watching.